Ab police officer honored today by his family and fellow brothers and sisters in law enforcement. Officer Edgar Flores was shot and killed just a few days before his 25th birthday. It is so awful even now to talk about. He was with the DeKalb Police Department just under two years. His impact, though, had been so great already. His 15-year-old brother wants to become an officer himself and wear his brother's badge. 11 Alive's Joe Hankey shares some of the emotional moments from today's funeral service. Joe. Well, Jeff, police officers from around the Atlanta area and the state, along with Officer Edgar Flores' family and friends, filled the sanctuary for his funeral this afternoon. With room for about 800 people, it became a standing room only service. And during the funeral, as you mentioned, we heard from the officer's young brother, a teenager now without his own personal hero. The brothers in blue he served alongside carried Officer Edgar Flores into his funeral where hundreds of other officers gathered to pay their respects. Many of them said they know Flores would be here in this moment for them if the roles were reversed, so they felt a calling to be here for him and his family. It's an important support for Edgar's family, his father, his mother, his brother, his fiance. 24-year-old Edgar Flores answered his final call on December 13th and would have celebrated his birthday on Monday. His death is now leaving a hole in DeKalb County, in the police community, but also in his birthplace of Nogales, Sonora, Mexico. The ceremony is being broadcast live through a good portion of the country in Mexico. In memory of Flores sacrificing his life for his community, DeKalb County's Chief of Police James Conroy presented the Flores family with the Medal of Honor, a rare medal reserved for the bravest officers. Officer Flores earned this award and heroically gave his life in service to DeKalb County. After being remembered by his chief, we heard for the first time from Flores' brother. 15-year-old Alexis spoke on behalf of his family only days after losing his role model. He was very loving, caring, fair. He fought for what he believed and he fought for equality. And unfortunately in that fight, he lost his life. Lost his life protecting his community. Despite now knowing the risk and the pain it carries, Alexis plans to follow in Edgar's footsteps. Last Thursday night, DeKalb County Police Major Katie Johnson visited with Alexis and today shared part of their conversation. He stated to me that he wanted to be a police officer. And he wanted to wear his brother's badge when he became a police officer, the DeKalb County Police Officer. And I told him and I assured him that we would make that happen. For now, though, Alexis, his family, friends, and fellow officers are in mourning. There was a brief moment of joy in today's service. Indy, the DeKalb County K-9 officer who was also shot last Thursday alongside Officer Edgar Flores, walked into the uh, into the sanctuary at today's service, and received a standing ovation. This is video you're seeing from DeKalb County Public Access TV. Indy was released from the hospital over the weekend after emergency surgery. It is unclear right now if Indy will be able to return to police work. I'm told at the moment the focus is simply on his recovery. In the newsroom, I'm Joe Henke, 11 Alive News. A private funeral will be held for Officer Flores tomorrow at Prince of Peace Catholic Church. That will be in Flowery Branch, which will be followed by burial at the Yona Memorial Gardens. To watch more of the Words of Remembrance from the service, go to 11alive.com. We also have a slideshow showing the tribute today as police.